hey guys so in this video series we will start learning WPF or Windows presentation foundation now WPF is a very hot technology nowadays so if a company is working with Windows desktop application development so they will demand WPF as your prime technology so sectors like uh, banking sector or medical sector work extensively on WPF applications so if you know WPF it's very easy for you to get a good salary in these organizations also get a good position in this organization now i have come across many articles many video tutorials in wpf and those are actually very good articles and very good tutorials but i find it when i was a beginner i found those articles and tutorials as quite complex to begin with so this is the approach of my video session in here that I will try to make the concepts of WPF a rather very easy and simple for you. So let's start learning without wasting time. So WPF stands for Windows Presentation Foundation. WPF was introduced in .NET Framework 3.0. Before this release, .NET Framework heavily used Windows Forms for UI development. Now by UI development, I mean Windows Desktop Application Development, a application that runs in a desktop. For web development, there are uh, other technologies such as ASP.NET or ASP.NET MVC. For UI de development, there are uh, Microsoft uses mainly Windows Forms and WPF. Now, the idea behind introduction of WPF was that user can develop rich user interface comprising 3D animation themes, etc. with minimum code complexity. So, I have a document with me. So, let's look into that document first. And then we will understand this, what do I mean by this point. So here's the document and it has two columns. One is desired functionality and one is technology. So all these desired functionalities require these technologies to build these functionalities. Okay. Say suppose you are building windows with controls, you will require window forms. And if you have, you want to have 2D graphic support in it, you will, you will need GDI plus. So by default, window forms is equipped with these two technologies that is GDI plus and window forms. So window forms enable us to develop basic applications that support windows look and feel that is it, it can have text box, it can have button, it can have a slider, etc. But those all controls will be basic windows controls, right? They will not have any animation in it. They will not have any styles in it. They will not have any theme in it. Now say suppose you need to have 3D graphic support in your window forms application. So you will need to use this API called as DirectX. Now DirectX APIs are extensively built to have 3D animation in your system or your screen. Imagine you are playing a video game. Now you might have seen in video games there are uh, extensive use of 3D animation or 3D graphics right say suppose Xbox or say PlayStation etc. So all these animations are achieved with the help of DirectX that is those video games have this DirectX API built inside them. Now say suppose you need to uh, support a video in your window form application so you need to have Windows Media Player API. And so same goes for this. If you need to read PDFs or documents in your application, you need to have programmatic manipulation of PDF files installed in your system. Now suppose you are developing a window forms application and you need to have all these functionality in your window forms, right? So you need to have all these APIs incorporated in your window forms. That is you need to have these all DLLs in your window forms and then you can start programming accordingly. Now imagine the complexity of code if you try to have these all APIs in your system and making use of such APIs. So each APIs will have different methods, uh, different namespaces, etc. Right. So if you are a beginner or a starter, so this will be quite difficult for you and even for experienced programmers uh, those have not worked with DirectX APIs or not worked with Windows Media Player APIs this will be quite difficult thing for them to achieve and basically this is a overhead so suppose if you are using a technology then you need to have some external DLLs to be used with your applications 
to get the desired functionality so the solution of such a problem is WPF so this is the prime reason why Microsoft introduced WPF it is a basically evolved version of window forms let's move back so you can see the third point the idea behind introduction of WPF was that user can develop rich user interface with minimum code complexity and these all things could be achieved in window forms too but as I said earlier you need to have all those APIs added in your window forms and then you, you can code accordingly but that will increase the complexity of your application so WPF could be considered as a evolution over WinForms so I hope this clears the concept why WPF was introduced over WinForms or window forms now in all these points I have been talking all about rich user interface right so I have a use I have a WPF application running in my system right now so let's look into that uh, application and see what do I mean by rich user interface so here's the application that is running and you can see this is a status bar sort of thing that is being animated that is this is a green color going in and then this is a themed button then I have a checkbox I have a radio button and I have a slider right so you can notice that this user interface is quite rich right I can uh, I had a animation control in here I have a themed button and I have a theme checkbox so let me explain you what I mean by themed controls right so this is the default theme and let's change the theme of my UI to say bubble cream and you can see the theme or the look and feel of my UI has been changed let's change it to say red and you can see the theme of my UI is changed so this uh, animation is changed accordingly to this theme the button color is uh, color look and feel is changed the checkbox is changed radio button is changed and the slider is also changed so does my UI look like anything that is being developed in window forms no this is purely developed in WPF the same thing could be achieved in Windows Forms too but we need to have those APIs in it uh, to achieve all the animations to achieve all the themes and this will make my code quite complex and this is the inbuilt feature of WPF all these APIs are inbuilt in WPF so let's uh, make this thing as bubble cream again and let's go back to our slides so since you have seen my UI in WPF uh, it's very simple to build that UI and I will have a separate lecture to show you how I have built that UI so for this introduction video purpose I have just shown you that UI so this might give you a example what do I mean by rich look and feel of my user interface let's move forward so some of the features of WPF include data binding dependency properties implementation styles themes XAML etc so all these five points are the highlights of WPF WPF has many more very interesting features that can be incorporated in your application development so these five points are the highlights so data binding is something which is responsible for presentation of data in the user interface now user interface in WPF is built in XAML a separate markup technology or a separate markup language so there might be some way so that uh, that separate technology uh, can represent some data that is written in the c -sharp format in my code behind so this is done with the help of data binding right so i have i will ha be having a separate lecture on data binding a very detailed one right S uh, similarly we have dependency properties implementation now dependency property is also a very important and powerful concept in WPF and it is also very uh, say favorite question of interviewers if you are attempting a interview in WPF so for now you can understand that dependency properties are special type of properties that have uh, capabilities of data binding or capabilities of validation capabilities of value coercion etc so I will cover dependency properties in detail in my Pre, uh, later lectures so then WPF also supports styles and themes so now you, you have seen a running application of WPF just now 
so all those uh, buttons and controls were st styled buttons and themed buttons and then we have xaml of course and as i have told you earlier that xaml is a separate markup language that is present in wpf for enabling us to build user interfaces so i will be including a xaml tutorial for you or xaml introduction video for you later in this video series now xml enables us to decouple code with ui and this enables unit testing in the application easier so this is one of the advantages that we have by using xml so guys this is uh, what i have for you for wpf introduction in this video we tried to learn why do we need wpf and we have seen seen a very basic application of uh, wpf which i have shown you for the rich uh, look and feel of ui what do i mean by rich look and feel of ui and these are some of the features that those are available in wpf and we will be learning more about these features in a great detail in my later video series right so i hope this video has helped you to give you a brief introduction about wpf in my coming up lecture i will explain you the architecture of wpf and then we will see what do i mean by xaml or xaml so thank you so much guys for listening if you have any doubt please leave a comment below and please do subscribe for this channel for continuing learning wpf thank you so very much